this uh, snippet of tape covers a uh, grain elevator complex rescue. Now we're zooming in right now on the victim who was wearing a harness but who has to come to something at least his consciousness has so he's unconscious up on top of this thing now the job will be to uh, have uh, rescue technicians climb up to where he is and because of the layout we have to make this a compound rescue which means their first They'll bring him down <clears throat> from the very top, where it says Fisher there, to the um, rooftop where the 75-foot ladder is right now resting. So that'll be the first part. Now, because they can't <clears throat> pick him up and sort of, you know, throw him off the roof to get him down, what they're going to do is they're going to go up there with a Series 70 I guess they have determined that this uh, victim uh, is stable so they don't have to rush and of course they're uh, going to work as fast as they can anyway so the idea here is that Use a Series 70 to lift this guy, this uh, victim. You can see the rescue technician, the fireman, paying out some rope right now. He's going to climb up, attach it well enough above the victim so that they can lift the victim, and then they can swing him out over the railing. And then lower him. Uh, now, just a uh, quick note about OSHA. When you're doing rescue work, OSHA pretty much leaves you to your own ingenuity and your own devices. You don't need redundant systems and backups and all that sort of stuff for rescue. You do if you are working. Working at height or working at depth. Now, the um, victim was wearing a harness, but the uh, rescue technician up top <coughs> has determined <coughs> excuse me, that he's going to uh, use our uh, 1,200 rescue harness because, of course, we want to demonstrate that harness. It's a seat harness. And right now, he has dropped the free side rope all the way down to the crew it's waiting at the uh, first spot where the uh, victim will be lowered to a bit about this harness it's a seat harness this one strap goes around the back and then two straps one that comes up from the back on the side to uh, encircle the legs and you have four D-rings that come together about where the sternum is, uh, just under the neck, so that this person is lifted in a uh, sitting position. This also can be used as a work harness. Again, it, it's the um, 1200 harness is what we call it. Anyway, so the Series 70 is now being used that's just a lowering system. They already lifted him over the railing so he would be high enough. Now in a moment here you will see the rope starting to enter the system. There it goes a little bit. And then your uh, your load in this cage, in this case your victim will be lowered to the uh, next phase of this rescue. We call this a compound rescue because there's two elements to it.
Okay, now I can see the rope starting to move. Free side rope, which is the rope to the right, is going up. <coughs> and there's the three load side ropes. Now it's very easy to lower someone using the Series 70 because the drum is stationary when you are lowering. So it works the same way as a capstan or a uh, boat deck winch. Except that, of course, in this case it's uh, being used for uh, up and down, in other words, for vertical motion, instead of as in a sailboat where it would be uh, for horizontal. Anyway, so they are lowering him. Now we use two Series 70s on this particular exercise here. The one that you have seen here up top, and then there's another one that's hanging on the end of the fire truck, the tip of the ladder. You notice there's a red belay line on him. That's so that they can hold him off from bumping his way along the side of the structure here. All right, he's reached the uh, lower decking here, which is still a good 30 or 40 feet off the ground, at least. But what they're going to do here is they're going to lift him using the 70. Then they're going to pivot the ladder to the left, probably 45 degrees to the left. Now, as in the last film clip, um, it's not practical to use a ladder as a crane because you can get the guy bouncing. Even if you have a very good operator. Now, uh, Barry Patton was the operator here. You'll see him in a moment. Uh, he's one of the best operators I've ever seen when it comes to a ladder, but he himself would much prefer this type of a rescue to trying to gently feather a ladder. Now you can see the ladder moving up, the angle increasing. At the same time, there's Barry, by the way, on the turntable of the ladder truck. Now here's the fellow with the load, with the free side rope on the ground. So he's going to control raising, if need be, and lowering this victim. And then there is a belay line on him so that they can hold him off again and keep him from rotating. getting late in the day here. The sun's shining at me. And they're starting to uh, let him down. I believe there's part of the building underneath him still at this point. The roof of this <laughs> elevator was... Uh, populated by vast number of pigeons and uh, their droppings did not make this um, particularly pleasant to work at the very top of this structure. Anyway, this is a rather dramatic shot here. You can see the uh, ladder operator there in the red t-shirt at the base of the ladder on the turntable. I've just about got him to the ground. And here's a shot from the ground up showing the victim coming down. You can see how important the belay line is here. And so now he has reached the ground slowly and safely. And I will sign off because this is the end of uh, this uh, videotape snippet.